Good morning, Year 6, and welcome to Monday's Algebra lesson. Today we're going to be looking at something called substitution, which is new. I don't think we've looked at that before from memory. So watch the video, complete the activities, and see how you get on. First, and you've got some formula on the screen, and to be fair, it looks really complicated, but it isn't actually. If we just look, before we read the top parts, let's look at this, okay. Here we've got some uh, letters. And remember, letters are just replacing numbers, okay? Over here we have drinks, and a little bit about reminder about brackets is what goes in the brackets we have to do first. That's our big maths, okay? If we look down here at stoves, if something is written over something else, you should remember that means division. So you'll calculate the top part here, P minus 4, and then you divide whatever that is by 2. And the same over here, this is also division, you know, they're very similar to a fraction. Okay, so that's the important bit to remember first. So let's see what it says. It says, Mr. Jones is organising an orienteering trip for 34 people. He uses some rules to work out what he needs. And he lets P stand for the number of people. So let's see how he works out each rule. So P stands for people. So here would be twice the amount of people there are, three times the amount of people there are, and so on. So if we work through the slides, is it going to work? It is. It says, how many biscuits does he need? So... There's 34 people going, so for 34 people, P is 34, so what is B? So we've got biscuits equals 2 times P, 2 times 34, add 5. So 2 lots of 34 is going to be 68, and then we're going to add 5 to it, which should get us 73. So he's going to need 73 biscuits to take um, for the orienteering trip. If we now look at D for drinks, still 34 people going, so P is 34. So if we look at the formula, the amount of drinks equals 3 multiplied by, within the brackets, P, P at 1. So we're going to do the brackets part first. So P is 34, 34 add 1 is 35, and then we'll multiply that by 3. Three. So two 35s are 70, and another 35 should make 105. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, I can do some maths, see? Not just a pretty face. So Mr. Jones needs 105 tricks. If we look down now, how many stoves does he need? So stove is like a little cooking device that you can cook, a little gas stove. So stoves is the amount of people, minus four, divided by 2. So 34 minus 4 is going to be 30, and half of 30 is 15. Okay, so he needs 15 stones. And the amount of tenths, okay, the amount of tenths equals P over 2. So in this case, P is 34, 34 people, divided by 2. Half of 34 is 17. And then we add 3 to that, which should make... 20. There we are. He needs 20 tenths. So the formulas look really complicated, but when you work through it in steps, they're not really uh, that, that tricky, I think. And I hope you agree. So now you have a go. Pause the video, please, and do this on a piece of paper. Work out the expressions, just like we were doing earlier. I'll give you a little clue. First one is going to be 43. And here are the answers. Hopefully you've got them all correct. The table, but it's not told us what N is, but it has filled in three of the boxes, so we can use that to help us what work N is. So I'm going to do the first one with you. So we know the answer is 24, and it's 2 multiplied by this in brackets, so N plus 6. So what could we multiply 2 by to make 24? Well, 2 lots of 12 is 24, so 2 times 12, so this section here needs to make 12, so we've got 6 add n, well 6 add 6 is 12, so here n must be 6 I think, so if we do 6 add 6 this is 12, and then we multiply that by 2, we're going to make 24, so I think that n for the first column here is 6, now I can now use that information to work out these three, then what you're going to do 
is going to need to work out what m is here. So we know the final answer is 30. So 2 times something at 6 must make 30. So work out what n is. That allows you to do this column. And then on this one over here, where it's 13, we don't know what n is yet. It's n plus 6 divided by 2 equals 13. So half of something will make 13. You need to make that 30, that, that half of what, what you divide by 2 to make 13 at the top part here. So pause the video, jot down some ideas, make some notes, complete the answers in a, in a table you can create, and then uh, we'll see what it makes in a moment. And here are your answers. Hopefully you got them all right. If you didn't, pause the video back and check your mistakes first. It's important you're getting these correct for later on. Otherwise, you might find it a little bit tricky. Find uh, formulas that involve negative numbers. And we've, we've done negative numbers before. We did them in year six. We've done them in year five as well. Um, but we probably need to just go over and have a think about the rules. So we're multiplying negative numbers. A positive times a negative makes a negative. So if you do three times negative two, you're going to get negative six. If you did five times negative four, you get negative 20. If you did negative 3 times 5, you'd get negative 15, and so on. So jot that down if, you, if you're not going to remember that. But if you neg multiply two negative numbers together, <clears throat> you're going to get a positive. So a negative 3 multiplied by a negative 2 equals 6. Negative 5 multiplied by negative 4 is going to get you the answer of 20. So you might just want to write those two things down, or you can always come back to this on the video here. Now, when subtracting negative numbers, adding a negative number means you subtract. So if you do 3, add negative 2, that's the same as saying 3, subtract 2 equals 1. We've done this before, so hopefully this is just revision this part here. And if you're subtracting a negative with a negative, it means you add. So 3, subtract negative 2 is the same as saying 3, add 2 equals 5. <coughs> so... Here are some formulas, and this time we're going to be taking and replacing the x, or substituting the x with an x value, which happens to be negative. So in all four examples here, we've got x as a negative number. Okay, so it looks and sounds complicated, but if you follow the basic negative number rules we looked at a moment ago, it isn't actually as difficult as it looks. So if we look at the first one, we've got 3x subtract 5 when x equals minus 4. So... 3x minus 5. So we're going to do 3 multiplied by minus 4. So remember, when a 3 or a number and a letter are next to each other like this, you mean it means multiply. So 3 multiplied by minus 4, and then we're going to take away the 5. Well, 3 multiplied by minus 4 is going to be minus 12. Okay, there's the first part of the calculation. And then we'll subtract the 5 from minus 12. Remember, if you're taking away, you're moving further away from 0 when you're in your negative numbers. So we end up with negative 17. And if you're not sure, it's always a good idea to maybe draw a number line to help you. So if we look at this one, 5 subtract x, when x is negative 3, remember, if we have a takeaway a negative number, that changes into a plus, into an addition. So 5 subtract negative 3 is going to be 8. On this one, we've got 4 add 5x, where x is minus 3. So 4 add 5 times negative 3. So because of our bid mass rules, we're going to do the 5 times the negative 3 first. Remember, bid maths, we have to do the multiplication before we do the addition because there's no brackets. So 5 multiplied by minus 3 okay, is negative 15. And we're going to add negative 15 to the 4, which is actually the same as subtraction, if you remember the earlier rules. So that's minus 11. And on the last one, we've got 12 subtract 3x, where x is minus 2. So we have to do uh, 12 take away 3 times 2x. Um, and if you look here, we have to do this multiplication first because we do multiplication ahead of subtraction. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And then we're going to have 12 take away negative 6, which is the same as 12 by 6, which is 18. So it is 
a little bit tricky, but break it down and do it in individual steps. I suggest you get a piece of paper and you write at the top the two negative rules and you also write bid mass, just as a reminder of the order that you do the calculations in. So now it's your go. You're going to have a go at these on your own, but we'll do the first one. So the first one is work out the value of the expression. So we've got 4x minus 2 when x equals negative 7. So we're going to do 4 multiplied by negative 7 first. Well, 4 7s are 28, so 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. And we're going to take away a 2, which is going to get us negative 30 in question 1. So pause the video now, have a go at the others. Take your time. So here are the answers. If you've made a mistake, it's probably because you got confused with the negative numbers. So if you looked at the last one, number five, I nearly made a mistake on that. I was going to decide it was something else. And then I realised that uh, seven multiplied by minus four would be minus 28. So you, then you were doing five, subtract minus or negative 28. And remember two minuses make positive. So it would be five, add 28, which makes 33. So be careful on that, and um, if necessary, go back and have another go. So there you have it. Um, it's probably the hardest math lesson we've tried to do since we've been uh, on lockdown, we've not been in school. So um, please try your best, and then if you're not sure, you need to message myself or Mr. K or Miss Ellis on Class Dojos, and we will help you. Don't just plough on if you're, if you're confused by something. But go back and do it all in stages. Do um, each equation, each uh, you know formula in, in steps. Jot down those negative number rules. You can go back in the video and write them down if you can't remember what they are. Jot down bid mass as well to make sure you're doing everything in the right order. Do it in steps. I'm sure you'll be, f be fine. And if you're really, really stuck, come and see me on Thursday or Friday and uh, we'll sort it. So good luck. Enjoy and I hope you have a great day.